Here are the top 10 reasons why the English Staffy is the best all around dog breed for the majority of people out there. This is JC, she's a one year old English Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She's about 22 pounds, a female, a black and brindle coat, very short manageable coat, and just a wonderful dog and will be able to fit into a lot of people's lives. I would strongly consider finding an English Staffy for your next uh, dog breed. The Staffy is probably the best all around dog breed there is out there for the majority of people. And I wanted to show everybody why they should consider a Staffy or a English Staffordshire Bull Terrier for their next dog breed. These dogs were bred by English nobility to watch over their children and that's why they get the nickname the Nanny Dog. This uh, breed was made to be working with children, made to, to work great with kids. So this dog loves uh, the affection of children and having kids around them. Stay. All right, come on. All right, it's a beautiful day. We're about to go for our morning walk. Okay, so reason number one is the size. The size of these dogs is very, very, very small for a working dog. But they are definitely a countertop height dog. So when you have your snacks or your food up on the table, these dogs do not reach up and reach over the countertop to get your food. So reason number two is barking. The Staffordshire Bull Terriers do not typically bark. If they do, it's for a good reason. So the mailman even came and uh, by and commented that, hey, your dog never barks at me. And that was a, a rare thing for the mailman, especially with these dogs that always bark. So the staffies, they'll bark if there's a need to bark, maybe an intruder, but that's about it. Very rarely do you hear him bark. All right, reason number three is the grooming. This dog has very short hair, as you can probably see here. Hair does not require any grooming really at all. Uh, we brush her maybe once in a while, just uh, when she comes back from walks. But the grooming is very, very easy. She doesn't shed a lot. You don't get a lot of fur on your couch or on your furniture. So if you want a dog, if you're looking for a dog that doesn't require a lot of grooming time, Staffy is perfect for you. Reason number four is these dogs are extremely easy to travel with. You can fit her on a plane very easily. We travel a lot. We like to take road trips, so it's very easy for us to just pack her up into the car and go. Hi, Jay-Z. Reason number five is their attitude. These dogs absolutely love children. They love people. They love being around uh, anyone who is new to them. They have a very loving attitude, especially around young kids. They have a nickname for themselves as the nanny breed, and they are very excitable when they get to meet a young child. Reason number six will be trainability and intelligence. This dog is very intelligent, very trainable. Now, it's probably not like a border collie as far as intelligence, but their urge to please and their urge to work with their owners is very, very high. Good girl. Stay. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good job. Good job. They're very trainable, easy to work with. Reason seven would be their adaptability. Uh, they're very easy to live with, especially if you have a small apartment or if you live in a larger apartment. Either way, they're going to be able to adapt to the size of the living arrangement. So if you are thinking that you can't have a dog because you live in a small apartment, this dog will be able to work with that. She loves being outside if you have a larger yard. Uh, she can work and run for, for hours and hours. So 
either way, this dog is going to be able to fit into your life regardless of your living arrangement. Hi. All right, so the next reason would have to be their look. So there's a lot of people who want a big, you know, tough looking dog or a scary dog or protector dog. And they don't want to get a small dog that looks like a chihuahua or looks like a toy breed. They want a, a, a tough looking dog. I would say that the English Staffy is the smallest big dog. I'll say that again. The English Staffy is the smallest big dog. Oh. Reason number nine would have to be their health. Staffies are not known for having a lot of health issues. Their joints are pretty well uh, in place. They don't have a lot of hip dysplasia or any of those types of issues, typically. Their snout is usually pretty good. They don't have a lot of breathing issues with a lot of other bully type of breeds may have. They live anywhere from 12 to 15 years on average. And reason number 10, last but not least, would have to be the staffy smile. English staffies are known for their staffy smiles. Especially when you wear them out, can't really help but to get a little smile. Hey. If you'd like to share some of the pictures of your staffy smiling, please leave a link down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. So I thought I would create a video showing the top 10 reasons why the English Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the best all around breed for the majority of people out there. Um, especially if you're out there looking for a dog that can fit into a wide range of different lifestyles or different living arrangements. I would recommend going through an AKC certified breeder if you are looking for a Staffy in the States. You're not going to be able to find one in the kettles. You're going to have to go through a reputable breeder if you want to find the one that is actually a 100% pure bred Staffy that will maintain the size and will have the attitude of an English Staffy. They are a little uh, costly. You're probably going to spend anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 to find a Staffy from a reputable breeder. The male Staffies are maybe three to five pounds heavier than the female Staffies. People really can't get enough of uh, coming up to her and uh, approaching her and asking to pet uh, the puppy, even though she's not technically a puppy anymore. This breed may not be the absolute best breed for certain uh, use cases. For example, if you are you know, in law enforcement and you're looking for a dog, um, this is not obviously going to serve those needs. You probably need a German Shepherd for that or a, a larger lab. Um, if you're looking for uh, a dog that can herd your cattle, yeah, this is probably not the dog for you. You want to probably look at a Border Collie for that. Um, but in general, this is the dog that serves um, most of the needs at a very high level and all around a great dog for the majority of people out there um, looking for a dog that will fit into their life or fit into their lifestyle or living arrangements. This dog is great in all types of living conditions and living environments. We have a small apartment and she fits right in. She's totally fine in a small area or a small apartment. She can also live in a larger farm or a, a rural area and she would get along great there. Uh, these dogs, they thrive in open spaces, um, but they are able to be managed in a small space. We have a one bedroom apartment and she is totally fine living in the apartment and uh, she maybe prefers the smaller area uh, to be kind of uh, similar to a, a small den because she loves to cuddle up and get close with, uh, with the, um, her other animal friends and us. I hope you enjoy this top 10 video. 
of the, the top 10 reasons to consider a Staffy for your next dog breed. 